Unraveling idioms, it stands to reason. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language and unlock the secrets of speaking it beautifully. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that often pops up in conversations, writings, and even in professional settings, it stands to reason. Ever wondered what it truly means and how you can use it effectively? Well, you're in the right place. Let's break it down together. It stands to reason is a fascinating expression that essentially means something is logical or makes sense based on the evidence or facts presented. When someone uses this phrase, they're indicating that the conclusion or the statement they're making is reasonable to expect, given the circumstances or the information at hand. For example, if you hear, he's been practicing chess every day for hours, it stands to reason that he's improved a lot. It means that the person's improvement in chess is a logical outcome of their dedicated practice. Diving a bit into the history, the phrase, it stands to reason, has been in use for centuries. It stems from the idea that certain concepts or conclusions stand firmly on the foundation of reason or logic. While the exact origin is hard to pinpoint, its usage reflects a deep appreciation for rational thought and logical deduction in the English-speaking world. Using, it stands to reason, correctly can add a layer of sophistication to your conversations or writings. Here are some examples to guide you. In argumentation, given the lack of evidence against him, it stands to reason that he should be considered innocent until proven guilty. In daily conversation, if the weather forecast predicts rain all week, it stands to reason we should cancel our picnic. In academic writing, considering the rapid growth of technology, it stands to reason that digital literacy will become an essential skill. Remember, it's a phrase best used when you want to emphasize the logical foundation of your statement or argument. While, it stands to reason, is a versatile phrase, here are some pitfalls to avoid. Overuse. Relying on it too much can make your speech or writing seem repetitive or predictable. Misapplication. Ensure that the conclusion you're presenting truly follows logically from the premises you've laid out. Misusing the phrase can weaken your argument. And there you have it. A closer look at the phrase, it stands to reason. We hope this exploration has not only satisfied your curiosity but also equipped you with a new expression to enhance your English language prowess. Whether you're engaging in a debate, crafting an essay, or simply chatting with friends, knowing how to use this phrase can indeed stand to reason in making your communication more effective. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.